Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking my video. If you have been here and subscribed for a while now, thank you so much for again clicking my video. Today, we're actually gonna be discussing how I started my spiritual journey. I do get a lot of questions and I kind of been putting some of the information on my Instagram page, but not as much as this video is gonna include. First of all, let me say, I was a hot mess when I started, okay? I was very attached to traumatic situations situations my relationships were very traumatic overall I would say that I had really weak boundaries uh, as an empath I just always knew that I could sense other people's feelings or what exactly they were going through at the time I didn't know what it was but I always been able to understand people's feelings and their emotions to a point where I feel almost like justified in allowing myself to accept certain situations or accept certain things from individuals when in reality I didn't have to I say all of that to say that my spiritual journey started when I realized that I had multiple fair relationships meaning individuals that I was talking to or the people that are around me didn't really respect me which is actually because I didn't respect myself so I had to understand and walk into the light of self-love so that was like my first initial aspect into my spiritual journey I had to learn to love myself first before anything and once I kind of started my journaling process, because I was actually in therapy, and I would say that therapy was a good portion of my shadow work because I was talking to someone and venting to an individual that didn't really judge me or make me feel a certain way about my feelings and emotions because what I was understanding was that when I would speak to people or when I would tell people about my feelings and emotions, they would always say I was sensitive. Even as a child, like I was always told I was very sensitive sensitive I cried a lot but in reality what even is that you you can't really be too sensitive your feelings are your feelings you no one can invalidate your feelings so what I had to understand was how to control my feelings and how to pick up on self-control I started with a lot of meditating practices as well I would really go to this point of quietness and solitude where I would have an intent in my mind I would be trying to heal from a certain point of my childhood and basically I would declare peace I would declare love for myself at that time then I would go ahead and start my meditating practices cleansing myself of those traumatic experiences those traumas those negative blockages that we have because in reality that's all it is it's a you're basically clogged with all these negative emotions these negative blockages i also did go through a period of time where i had a specific condition i had pcos which i was really into like chinese medicine it could be because i'm a student counselor and you have to pick up on various cultures and different ideologies that exist in the world that we live in all different type of cultures in my field of study i actually picked up on holistic views of diseases and um physical ailments so at that point I started researching PCOS and what the natural approach to PCOS could possibly be it also led me to my first spiritual book which was Sacred Woman by Queen of Fua that is a very very good book if you're dealing as a female if you're dealing with a lot of traumatic experiences that have happened to your body that you are now choosing to basically hold on to them because in reality that's what I was doing I was holding on to a lot of hurt anger and resentment uh, from my past life and basically I was beginning to walk into this new light of who I was and who I was ultimately becoming I had to let go of a lot of things I had to let go of a lot of hurt anger I had to let go of a lot of grudges that I was holding to certain individuals first myself I had to forgive myself first I had to know and understand that self-love was the first key to unleashing all of it from there I started more self-control with what I was eating what I was allowing my body to consume I actually lost a lot of weight I know I don't really put my body on Instagram anymore but I lost a lot of weight as you guys can see and I was really cautious of even how much water I was drinking how much I, time I was spending in nature because the sun the nature that's around us it it's almost as if it's like a recharge for us when we go into nature when we go near the trees and the beautiful scenery especially the sun even the moonlight sitting outside in the moon going on a night walk can do so much it can do so much for our psyche and healing 
the mind and getting rid of a lot of that negative blockages that we have. All in all, I was able to cure myself of PCOS by reading my book, which I have not completed yet. It's like this big. It's a good book though. I don't talk bad about partying or what have you. I used to be the same way, but I was partying and making all these escapes in my life and being on Instagram, being on my phone, connected to so many social media platforms. I was making this gap between reality basically and myself. What I come to find is throughout COVID, I had instances where I was just so tired of looking at other people's lives and seeing all these things that I wasn't, right? In reality, we have all the answers right here. I would always look outward to materialistic things and all these different things that I wanted. In reality, it was all here. You know, the love was here. Don't get me wrong. You can love your materialistic things. You, you can indulge in these, um, objects that we have on earth however what i understood for myself is that i was looking for love outwardly and in reality it's all right here it starts right here so i started looking up chakras and how certain deficiencies in certain areas of your body can lead you to have certain outward emotions myself i had an outward heart chakra I basically had an overpouring heart. So my heart chakra was overextended and I had moments of depression and sadness and prolonged just loneliness that I thought. But just knowing and understanding that it started with myself and you can heal whatever it is that you're going through in this lifetime. You're not alone. You have yourself, you are the light. Just being more positive and understanding that thoughts will become reality. It's a true thing. There was also many instances where I just felt like conversations that I was even having with people when I went through my spiritual journey and I'm still going through my spiritual journey. But there are certain things that I no longer care to talk about because the substance is just not something that I wish to divulge in. The substance is just something that I don't care to talk about anymore. I realized that there was things that were deeper, there's a deeper meaning to life than just fashion and makeup. That was just the surface of me. I still like fashion and makeup, but there's other things that I wanna talk about. How you feeling, you know, the emotion aspect to life. What positive things are you working on? Working on basically rising and ascending to a higher self. All of that put together with just understanding that you are the creator of your own life. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. There also has to be no fear of standing out or being unique because once you go through this process, you're going to know and understand that there's going to be other individuals that aren't on the same vibe that you're on. They're not interested in the same things you are. That was something I actually suffered with a lot. I found myself, you know, not wanting to hang out with certain people or go certain places that I used to want to go anymore. Don't fight it okay that just makes it worse i had to realize that wow you know these things that i used to like to do are pretty much pointless for me they don't do anything for me i like to talk about the deeper aspects of life i had to start grounding techniques because my mind would go so deep with so many conversations so now in specific conversations with specific individuals, I have to remind myself of the present time and stay engaged in that conversation or wherever I am. I have to know and understand that everybody doesn't want to talk about that and it's okay. It is definitely a beautiful process if you choose to go through that process. It doesn't start off as pretty, it does not. It actually is very, very rough. I spend a lot of nights crying. But thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms at that girl Bonnie. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.